Hello viewers and welcome to what is a multi-part video where we will be looking at how much is the exact power reserve of a Grand Seiko 72R a spring drive movement. Now in a spring drive movement it's kind of hard to see but those three sections that you see they all represent one day of power. You know 24 hours in a day 72 hours uh, 24 times 3 is 72 so that's the reason you've got those three marks on that arc so all I'm gonna do is I have set the time at 12 o'clock and I have set the date at 1 so I'm gonna give this a full my wind and on a spring drive it's very easy to do because I know exactly what a full wind is is when that subdial power indicator reaches the the highest uh, value and then I will just set it aside and every day I will keep taking a tally to see exactly how much it should go so it really by on the least standard it should go till the th for three full days so it should essentially go up to midnight of the third day and I suspect it will go a bit more because grants I mean Seiko tends to be very conservative when it's setting these performance standards and or more often than not you will be getting a much better performance than what they promise this is a little hard to see on camera but I think I have reached the full point there okay so we're gonna leave this with a full wind is it full yes I think it's full it's, it's really hard to see these things on camera and we will come back uh, 24 hours from now and we'll see how much it has come down 36 hours sorry 48 hours and then 72 hours and let's see how long this actually runs it's been a little over 24 hours since we first started this test and the power reserve dial is exactly at three quarter at uh, one third yeah it's exactly one third so it looks like we will have to come back in another 24 hours to to see where the power reserve dial has reached tomorrow it's now been 49 hours a little over two days it's one o'clock on and day three has just started and as you can see the power indicator is just a shy just a little bit over at it's really at the two at the 48 hour mark it's now three days and 11 hours so that's a total of 83 hours and that's the power reserve you can expect to get on a 9 hour spring spring drive movement so instead of 72 hours I got 83 hours that's a full 11 hours over the specification just goes to show how great these uh, watches are they're really built to a very high standard where you can get a lot more power than what they promise hope you enjoyed the video please be sure to hit like and subscribe and i'll see you on a later video